The Great When, The Smoke, Vanity Fair, call it what you will, it is the great survivor, it is immortal, it is the greatest city in the world, London. This heaving metropolis is a mighty drama, acted out across the ages. It is the seat of kings and also the place of their demise. But it is also a drama in which I have played my part. A messenger in Act 3, perhaps. A spear carrier, maybe, but a part, nevertheless. It was here in 1990 that I played a role in the poll tax riots, a role in which I still have a great deal of pride. Then, soon after I left the police force, I became an historian. And since then, I have never looked back. I first came here as a young man and have never left. I was drawn like a moth to the artistic flames that burned brightest. In fact, it was at this very spot, after a drunken evening in 1979, that I threw up over the artist Francis Bacon. It looked like scrambled egg. Eggs on bacon. And so the eternal comedy goes on. Comedy and tragedy. For it was in this alleyway only a couple of days ago I was mugged. It was just getting dark. He came up behind me and grabbed me. He was young and tall. His arms were wiry but very strong. I struggled, but it was hopeless. I was pinned like Laocon in the serpent's coils. I could smell pickled cabbage on his breath, a sour yet somehow exhilarating smell. He took my wallet and ran off. I tried to go after him, but it was no use. He was gone, swallowed by the voracious moor of this insatiable city. As so many have been before him, and yet here I am again, drawn perversely to the scene of my misfortune. The wallet had my card in it, with my private mobile number. Call me. But what of the millions of other stories that go on behind the scenes of this never-ending drama? If only one could stand here, and look into a particular window without being served with a restraining order and bound over for six months and ordered to pay court costs. If only. London has often been called the city of opportunity, but only for the few. For every Whittington that has found glory, how many dicks have turned only to find disappointment? My oyster card has run out of money, and a young man, possibly from Latvia, has my bank card. And so, the eternal theatre of London, with its comedy of errors, its ever-changing scenery, and its baying crowds with their foul breath, runs on. And it is a theatre in which I too play a part.